Hi everyone, welcome back once again to the series of Python Unleashed. My name is Ajay and today we are going to learn how to create packages in Python. Okay, in my last tutorial we have just understood how to create modules and use them. And uh, that, that was the simplest way that we have learned to create a module. But in this tutorial we are going to understand how to create a package in Python. So as in my previous tutorial, I've told you that package is basically a library, okay, which uh, basically contains number of modules. So n number of modules a package can have. So these modules are actually nothing but the Python files, that is .py files. So maybe this modules one, that is a .py file. So these are uh, actually Python files and these file every, file or every module you can say that has a set of uh, functions so if this has module one has function one two three and so do module two will have the functions and number of functions that is one two three so every module will have it is its own set of functions okay so package when we talk about a package so it is nothing but a folder so we need to create a folder the first step towards creating a package is uh, we need to create a folder and give a particular name to your folder. Now this name will be the name that resembles the kind of purpose it has, okay, that the kind of work that your package will do. So you need to give a proper name to your folder that will get associated with the kind of work your package is going to do, okay. and then. Uh, what we need to do is we need to have uh, this particular file which is uh, this is a double underscore and in it that is initialized basically and then again again uh, double underscore dot py now this is basically a constructor this is a class constructor now we are not going to go in detail about the class construction the uh, constructor but uh, at this point just Understand that this is a file, which is a, a class constructor. This is very important that your folder should have this file. Uh, this file is actually an indication to Python that this particular folder is not a normal folder. Basically, this folder is a package. Okay, so you need to have this file. And what will this file have? But, well, at this point, we will just have an empty file. So we'll just create an empty file that is uh, with the name that is underscore double underscore in it then double underscore dot py which is a constructor file. Okay, so this file we will just create an empty file and store it in this particular folder. So we'll create a folder, give it some name and then we will have this empty file stored into it just to indicate Python that this folder is actually a package. Okay, and then what we will do, we will have some modules that is just some Python files and every file will have some set of functions. Okay, so this is how we are going to start. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to build a modules. Okay, so we'll have some one, two, and this is a third module out here. And then they will have some set of functions. Okay, so let us start. So what we will do at this point, this is just an, okay, it's like just to show you what are packages and what, how to uh, build modules. So, and every module will have the functions, right? So we will just give the name to the functions as function one. Okay, so I just give this name as function uh, one and then just, I'll just print a message that it, that is uh, inside that is inside function one or uh, more specifically i can uh, to be more specific i can give this something like you know a uh, package and uh, just an arrow and then the module one and then a arrow okay so this is like the package inside the package this is the module that i'm will be actually creating right now and then inside this module we have this function one that's it just a, fun a name this, this just a uh, you know a message that we are going to print okay so we'll just copy this and uh, paste it 
and one more and paste it or let us have one more okay let us have four and then I'll just name this function as function one two and three and four and over here I just need to change this message that is this is function one this is function two this is three and this is four that's it okay so this is a module now we are going to uh, create we're going to store this file so let us go ahead and save this file with the name and I'll call this name as module one okay module one module one dot py so this is module one dot py but as I said in real world if you're building some package and your packages will have modules so your uh, you need to give proper names to your package and to your modules which will actually uh, you know associate or which will actually indicate to the user what this module will actually do okay so this is just a uh, just to explain you how things are uh, you know do it or how things work so we are just giving this name as module one dot py and before saving this let us just create a folder so we'll create a folder and name this folder as package okay okay package now please understand this is just a name of the folder package itself does not mean anything it's just a name so as i said again i'm repeating when you will create your own package so you will have some particular name that you need to give to this folder that will indicate what this package is going to do okay so i'll just go inside this package okay i'll just keep this simple as small m module one dot py and i will save this inside this folder that is package okay and then what i will do is i'll just copy this and create a new file okay and just paste it so and i will just replace this as module two okay and rest everything will be same that is module two and let me save this now and this i will save it with the name that is module two dot py okay and then we will create let us create one more module and i'll just paste it and just replace this as module 3 and i will save this with the name as module 3 dot py okay let me just save this and i will save this as module 3 dot py okay so we created uh, one module and that module I mean, if in fact we created three modules, and every module has, uh, you know, four functions into it. Okay, so we have a package, and we have three modules. So you can say, if you just go by this, so there is a package with the name called as package, and then there are three modules. That is one, two, three, and every module has a kind of four functions inside it, isn't it? And then what we are going to do is we need to create one more file as i said and just keep this file empty and save this file with the name that is double underscore init and again double underscore dot py now this is very important this is a constructor and this file actually indicates to python that this is uh, you know a package this folder itself is a package okay so you need need to save this file inside the folder that is the name of my folder itself is package okay i'll just save this okay done and then what we need to do is uh we need to go to that is uh, just import uh, sys which is a module and uh, you can just print sys dot Path. now this will show you the entire path of your uh, anaconda where are the packages installed and if you look closer to this uh, you know all this path that you can see out here we have this one that is uh, okay that is uh, anaconda packages and dll user just a minute that is the site package that you you need to look for and uh, this one okay so you can see look at this 
folder that is uh, c colon user that's name of uh, the folder aj then inside that we have the anaconda 3 folder and then the library folder inside that library folder we have a folder called as site packages now all the packages that you install okay or uh, are being pre-installed it is stored under this particular folder which is called as site dash packages okay so what we need to do is now the simplest way to do is just copy this folder and paste it under this site package which folder the folder that we just created the package folder the name of the package is package itself isn't it so we need to you know track this particular path and then store our package just copy it and store it under this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this okay and just open the, the my pc and just paste it over here just remove that double underscore just make it as one uh, just otherwise it will not open okay just keep it once uh, backslash and then just go to that particular folder now you can see we are under the site packages and these are the packages you can see out here okay these are all the packages what we need to do is okay well, uh, we need to copy that particular file that is uh, just open it and uh, go to go back to the folder and here you can see the folder that is package isn't it just uh, copy this particular folder and uh, I'll just paste it that is over here that is under the site packages so just right click and paste it okay make sure that all your program is right and it has been there are no syntax error syntax error in your modules okay after that you can do this work so i hope there is no syntax error in my modules okay and then what i'm going to do is just close all these files okay okay now let us just uh, you know now that i've done it i've copied that particular folder into that site packages now just we can use that import keyword to import that particular package so i'll just say package dot and here it is see it is showing you all the three modules can you see that is module one module two and module three this small m out here it indicates that this is a module okay and then i just import that module and then what I can do is I can just use that is module module one dot okay I just use that as just give an allies name as pack just give us an allies name as pack and then I can use pack dot and you can see the functions out here so I've just given a, a, a no, an allies name, otherwise I have to type this entire thing and then access that particular function. So I just give an allies name that package dot module one as pack and then I can simply use that particular name, that allies name and you can see these functions, isn't it? And then I'll just copy this and paste it over here. Okay, and just name function one this is function 2, function 3, and function 4. Now let us just run this and see the output. Just let us give this name as test.py. And you can see the, uh, it is not displaying anything. That is because I'm not using, this is, I'm not actually giving a call. I'm just passing the reference. So I just need to have this opening and closing brackets since it is a function, isn't it? Now let us run this and you can see the, uh, you know, the messages that is package under that module one and inside function one, inside function two and so on. And then if I just turn this as two, okay, this is now module two and if I run this and then you see I'm giving actually accessing the module two and not module one so inside module two we have this function one function two function three as you can see over here i had created three modules so now this is the third module if i replace this with module three and now if i run it and you can see that is module three 
okay so this is how you can uh, create a package in fact a package can have uh, you know more sub packages so a package can have a sub package okay so this is how to uh, do it now this is not actually the standard way of uh, creating a package let me tell you a standard way is where you actually create a package and then properly you need to um, you know make that a part of the python and for that we have certain commands that we need to execute so that it becomes a part of a python though this particular uh, you know the way that we did it it works that way and you will not face any problem as such but still it is just a kind of a shortcut to you know create a package means uh, kind of uh, not creating the package but the way we associated it it with python that was a kind of a shortcut so we need some uh, you know we need to uh, there are so many commands i mean and using that commands then we kind of make it a uh, you know that particular package we associate it with python we make it as a part of a python okay but at this point as a beginner you can just uh, you know uh, you, it's more than sufficient that you need to understand uh, how to create a package okay so that's it for today bye for now